Hello, and welcome back to our playthrough of Rise of the Tomb Raider Blood Ties, where we're ready to explore this dark passageway to the library, I guess. Yeah, who knows what we can find in there? Maybe some spiders? Maybe some dead servants or something? Scooby-Doo villain? Probably dust. Probably lots and lots of dust. Let's get in there. And, of course, we do our shimmy shimmy. Let's see what... Ah! Here's a file! Right off the bat. Ooh, a letter. I don't know what this is doing back here. Let's see what Atlas has to say. The news has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're into Mornay. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. Ooh, this is a bit of juicy gossip. It turns out Atlas didn't approve of their little romance. Well, that kind of explains the hostility towards me. Seeing as I am the daughter of this little affair, if you will. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we need to get somebody to look at that. That's, yeah. We need to just let my uncle have this place. Yeah. You know what? Screw him. We'll take it. Rotten and all. Hey, look. Yeah, this looks pretty old. I'd say the 1980s? Looks like a Walkman. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly proper upbringing, Amelia's taken to roughing it more than I ever have. She fits in and connects with the local populace with such amazing empathy. Because of her, I've had a bit of an unexpected breakthrough in my research. She managed to convince an artifact dealer in Old Town to sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. Aw, this sounds like the most idyllic relationship ever. Aw, that's so sweet. I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, that, that does not look good. Mm. I feel like an axe murderer is going to be down there waiting for me. I'm sure Laura can handle it, but... I'm going to... Can I open this first? Oh, I have to go down there, don't I? Oh, I need a master key. Okay. If there's any axe murderers down there, you better tell me. Not fair if you don't give me a chance. Okay, so far so good. Hello? Oh, well, at least there's plenty of wine. I can deal with plenty of wine. Yeah, it's all wine. Love it. Oh, another letter from dear jerk Uncle Atlas. Let's see what you have to say. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic, unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told, on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. Aw, oh, screw you, Uncle Atlas. Man, this guy sounds like the stuffiest of stuffy. Ugh. Always prim and proper and Still concerned about relationships. Ugh. Yeah, it is a bit... Ooh. Is that something outside? Or is that just lightning? Yeah, it's probably just the lightning. It's probably nothing. 
probably gonna get murdered pretty soon. It's no big deal. Wow. I don't, yeah, this is a this is a pretty oh there's stuff behind there. Why can't I get behind there? I want to get behind there. All right, what do we got here? Another letter. My Great. Lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. As always, I indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the course of the game, she broached the subject of her mother. She's having trouble remembering her now, and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier, which you sealed off, to play on her mother's piano. It enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in, of course. For someone so young, she has such strong emotions. Later in the day, she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer, of all places. And before I knew what was happening, I found myself locked inside. Mrs. Sheffield discovered me an hour later, shivering and somewhat peeved. It took us an additional hour to find Lara in the grounds. I know all her hiding places, of course, but this time she really did not want to be found. Call it years of observation, but I can tell when she's out of sorts. My lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. Aw, it sounds like the butler's a real stand-up guy. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. <laughs> yeah, he sounds like a great butler. I wonder if you still have him around. No? Maybe he's in a closet somewhere? I mean, that sounds like something the super rich would do. And uh, I don't see anything else. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I can totally move this out of the way. Of course. Of course. I know how to move stuff. Don't you worry. Okay. Let go. Let go. Let go. There you go. Alright, what's back here? Oh. King to Queen One. We're going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> oh, clever girl. But you should know by now, Ooh. winning isn't everything. Oh, oh, oh. Welcome to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no. I didn't even see that. You should also know by now. I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday. <laughs> oh, oh, that is just adorable. Oh, I love it. Oh, whoever wrote that, I love it. I would it. play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. Oh, okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, well, interesting chess. It looks like... Chess pieces that you'd see in like uh, Lord of the Rings or something. And what do we got? No, no, no. no. Eh. 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 What? Come on. I ah. always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Hmm. Maybe you should have. That's that's great. Love it. Great attention to detail, game makers. Great. Oh, okay. Well, I need a crowbar. <sighs> Where's crowbar when you need him? Okay. Well, oh, oh, journal, journal. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliche. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard, adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation. Upholding the de Mornay name, embracing our traditions, not losing the family that raised me. Oh, this really is a rubbish choice. I don't want to lose them, but I love the life I've started to build with Richard. He comes with his own difficulties, but I can accept them. Will it be enough? Oh, come on, just just take Richard. I mean, the Mornay sound like the most stuffy people ever. <laughs> I wouldn't take it. No, yeah, you have slighted us by fusing the Duke. Yes. 
worthless bunch of crap. Hey, another journal. Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's obsessed with Egypt, memorizing hieroglyphs and ancient Egyptian districts, so she'll be delighted with what Lord Croft has come up with. This will be good for her. She's been acting up of late, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. He's been so buried in his research. It'll be a nice moment for the two of them to reconnect. And I do believe he needs it as much as she does. <laughs> They're painting such a nice picture for this family. Yeah, it's It's got its problems, but it's still very charming and very lovely. And I know at some point I'm going to sign, find some journals where it goes terribly wrong because of certain things. Okay, so there's something back there, and I think i got to move some carts. That shouldn't be much of a problem. we got a lot of wine down here. Man, I wonder how much of these are, like, really expensive. Like, I could probably find some stuff. You know, some people that could use these wines, you know. Maybe get enough money to actually fix up the place, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, I got it. I solved the puzzle. It wasn't all that hard. Calm down, game. Ooh. Well. That looks even more ancient. What do we got here? Dad loved a good bottle of wine. <laughs> I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Aw. That's a nice little decanter they got there. Nice crystal decanter. Okay, so before we start exploring the dank underside of the matter, we will take a short break. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to keep gaming.